In this video, we are going to solve this question uh, from the chapter of trigonometry function class 11, which is based on this identity, these identities. So the question here is sine 10 into sine 50 into sine 60 into sine 70 is equal to root 3 by 16 is what we need to prove. Now, the first thing that we are, I'm going to do here is to uh, replace sine 60 with its value that is uh, root 3 by 2. So I'll be writing this as root 3 by 2. And then if I write the remaining, this is right, uh, sine 10 multiplied by sine 50 degree multiplied by sine 70 degree. Now, we'll be up over here, we'll be applying this identity. Like say, if you see, if we compare this, we are going to apply this to sine A, sine B identity. But for that, we have to multiply, divide by 2. So I multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. So what do we get here? This is root 3 over 2, root 3 over 4. 2 into 2 is 4, right? Now, if I apply this identity, this one, so it's cos A minus B, that is cos 40 minus, cos 10 minus 50, that is cos minus 40 minus from here, that's minus cos A plus B and A plus B is 60. So it's going to be cos 60 degree. Let's enclose them in a bracket. That multiplied by sine 70. Now, after that, what we are going to do is to replace this cos 60 with its value, that is half. And what do we know here? That one more thing, that is cos minus x is cos x. So we can write this cos minus 40 degree as cos 40 degree. And this, as I said, it is half, cos 60 is half times sine 70 degree. Now we'll apply distributive property. We'll be multiplying sine 70 with these two. So what we'll get here, that is, uh, this is root three by four bracket. If I multiply the sine 70 with cos 40, it will be sine 70 into cos 40 degree minus half times sine 70 degree. Now, as I said, we'll come to continue to apply this identity. And as I can see, it is sine into cos. So sine into cos is this first one. But before that, we need to multiply by 2. So we'll divide it by 2 as well. So let's make some space here first. So we'll get, uh, this is as root three over eight. And if I apply this identity, it is sine A plus B, that is sine A plus B, that is 70 plus 40 is 110 plus sine A minus B and 70 minus 40 is 30 minus, okay, fine. I did a mistake. I multiplied by two, so I should have multiplied throughout. So here you can see that this 2n to get cancelled. So we'll get here sine 70 degree. Now we can replace this sine 30 with its value that is half. So this is root 3 by 8 times sine 110. Uh, I can write 110 as this is uh, 180 minus 70. So now, why did I do so? I actually wrote this 110 as 180 minus 70. We did so, so that we can reduce this. And then plus sine 30, the value of sine 30 is half. So we'll be writing half here minus sine 70 degree. Now for the remaining part, I'll be doing it here. Let's say if I do it here. We have root three by eight times what we know as sine pi minus theta. Sine pi minus theta is the, uh, we land on the second quadrant and sine pi minus theta is sine theta. So this becomes sine 70 degrees. So this is pi actually, this is pi. So this is sine pi minus, considering this to be theta is sine theta. That's why I wrote sine 70 plus half minus sine 70 degree 
I can check here that uh, this two get cancelled. So we are left with root 3 over 8 multiplied by half that is equal to root 3 by 16. This is what we were required to prove and we proved it.